This month's giveaway, the March giveaway, is Dirt 3, the awesome racing game on Steam. So if you want to enter, make sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and click the link in the description below. Also make sure to click in the comment section and drop your opinion on the video. The link in the description and the comments allows you to enter the giveaway. Moment kind of thing, I just bought everything in this package straight away. Don't know why I did it, I just kind of wanted to buy some stuff. I really need some RAM because when I'm streaming and gaming I can't seem to open Google Chrome when I'm running a game because it saps way too much memory and then it permanently causes my game to lag and I have to close it and restart it so having some RAM issues so I've bought 8GB of DDR4 RAM from HyperX which is Kingston and the speed I think is 2400 MHZ now my original RAM I think is 2100 so the speeds are a little bit off but I did research before I bought this thing and a lot of people said to me that the speeds don't matter so much, they just have to be the same memory, for an example 8GB and they have to be the same pin connectors, that's about it. So I heard that's basically all you need to worry about. So we're going to open up this box, I do have some scissors but I'm pretty sure we can just open it from the side. But I've ordered a brand new headset which is actually really cheap, now we do have a RAM here, I'll show that in a second. I ordered a brand new headset which is super cheap. And I had some good reviews on Amazon. I think this was only £12.99, so it looks half decent. As you can see, the headset doesn't look too bad. Just a cheap one because I'm running kind of low on money right now, and I basically spent everything I had left just on this stuff. Headset mainly because when I'm playing Apex Legends, my sound is really terrible. I've been using this phone headset for one night, and then I used some earphones before, which I broke, and then I broke my original headset and the earphones in the same way. I basically pulled the wires. So we're gonna open this up. I've got a little bit of bubble wrap in here, which I'm actually glad about because these Chinese products, you don't want them to be broken, you know? So it looks fairly small. The only thing I'm worrying about is the cable length because I like to watch Netflix when I'm in bed, so I feel like the cable length on this is not going to be good enough. I mean, the headset already looks half decent. It doesn't have to be too big. So I'm going to put this thing on there. Let's just take that off. But yeah, one thing I'm worried about is the cable. I'm pretty sure this cable is not long enough for me because I... I need a pretty long cable to get to my PC, so that's kind of a letdown, but that's my fault for not doing research into it. Write a review to get a £10 gift card at once, email us with your review screenshot. Low noise microphone, well we're not going to use the microphone because I already have a microphone, so we don't really need to use that at all. We'll just throw that to the side. So like I said, the headset wire, I'm thinking that this wire is going to be way too short than what I need, which is going to be kind of a shame. But has your standard connectors, obviously your pink and your green ones, which is microphone and headphone jack, so that's pretty cool. And I guess these are the headphones. So they're not too bad, I guess the size is pretty decent. Microphone's useless because I have a blue snowball, which is pretty good quality studio like for my YouTube, so these are just mainly to listen. I've read the reviews, they are 5 star, so apparently they do have pretty good directional sound which should be useful when playing games, this is a gaming headset so I'm hoping the sound quality is half decent because I have been lacking sound the past like 5 days which is really bad man so I really need to buy this and then the next one which is the highlight of this video which we're going to actually start fitting in the computer soon at some point in this video is the HyperX Fury RAM this is DDR4 like we said before and the speed is 2400 so this should be pretty interesting and I'm hoping I don't have to send that bad boy back because from what I've heard the speeds can be mismatched a little bit because the speed's different by 300mz but I guess we'll just have to see so we're gonna get this fitted now and we're gonna restart the PC and I'm gonna get rolling with these headphones I'm gonna jump into a little bit of Apex Legends gameplay just to kind of test everything out and just see if the speeds are a little bit different I can't really show you an example of comparison but hopefully they'll be different so we're now inside the actual PC case itself. Now as you can see, it's pretty crammed in here. It's pretty hard to actually put my hands inside to show you. And it's pretty hard to actually get vision with a camera because everything's such a tight spot. 
and it's really hard to actually get any vision on any of the components. Now obviously you can see here I do have a stick of RAM. We are trying to install the second stick which I just bought and it's kind of hard to just get an angle. Like originally I wanted to show the whole process of just doing it. It's probably one of the most simple things. There's nothing really to it that's very challenging, very straightforward thing. But I decided to unbox it and just kind of put the camera to the side because it's just really hard to actually get a shot inside the case. The camera lens itself is obviously bigger than my hand, so it's hard to get that in, especially because it's actually hard to fit everything with my big hands as it is. So obviously with dual channel in with RAM sticks, you have to put them in the correct slots. That's obviously either one and three or two and four. Now, a lot of people tell me that you need to put them in slots two and four. I really don't think this makes much difference. Some people say you can actually just put them in one and three anyway, because remember, you can obviously put four sticks in as well, but you need to put them in one of these sets of channels. So I obviously had my original stick of RAM in slot two already because I knew this a few months ago. So it's straightforward to simply just put the second stick in slot four. Now, as you can see here, we have Apex running alongside Google Google Chrome. Now before my issue was having Chrome lag so I couldn't actually watch videos and play the game and I'd have a lot of stutters. As you can see I'm just shaking my mouse a little bit here just to show there's no stutters or lag and everything's working perfectly so the RAM upgrade was definitely an increase in performance as I thought it would be.